all, and welcome to a day in the life of me, Christine, of Simply Nail Logical. Just kidding, I don't actually paint my nails every single day, but how cool would that be if nail art was my job? But it's not. So you're probably wondering, how did she make this nail art hollow? Like everything about this nail art is hollow. What are these magical hollow unicorns that Simply Nail Logical has stuffed in her closet? So the original nail art was not hollow, as you can see, and it looks pretty cool like this, if you ask me. It kind of looks like a cool turtle. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? He's fine, turtle. Turtle. Um, he's dreamt of this place ever since he was a child. Turtle. All right, let's go, and I shall unlock the magical hollow secrets of the world. I start off with a black base. I'm using Colt Nails Nevermore. Oh my god, why am I painting my nails black? They're not white, what's going on here? And apparently I can't even paint my nails today. And many of you have asked me, how do you paint your nails so perfectly? Well, I guess I can't help you there, can I? Maybe I just felt like painting the table, okay? Okay, I'm clearly having a bad day, look away. Paint your nails, just do it, they say. With Chillax by Picture Polish. I love this aqua creme, it's so creamy, mm, look at it. So you're probably wondering, like, why are you painting your ring finger a different color than black? What is going on? And it's actually because I just wanted to see what the opposite of the mani I had planned would actually look like. Because sometimes you just want to play opposite day on your nails. When you can't paint your nails perfectly like I can't, just use a cleanup brush like this one, which I got from Twinkle Tea, and dip it in a bit of acetone and outline your nail. And then it's like the mess never happened. Now I'm applying Simply Peel around my nail to protect my finger from gradient mess. And if you don't know what Simply Peel is, then you clearly live under a rock and you need to watch this video in the left hand corner. Right now. Go now. Now! While you let Simply Peel dry for a couple minutes, you can take your quick dry top coat and apply it to all your black nails. This is because we're going to be using nail vinyls next. Now go back to the accent nail. Are you following? Are you following? Stay with me guys. I'm using Chillax again in some random teal color from Quo, which is a company that you've probably never heard of because they only sell it in Canada, and who the hell lives in Canada except me? Where are my Canadians at? Comment below! I apply both colors side by side on a foundation makeup sponge, and you can see that I'm overlapping the colors in the middle just to make it blend a little bit better on the nail. Go ahead and dab, dab, dab on the nail. Don't be shy, get right in there, girl. Give it a little dab. Give it a light, gentle dab, a little up and down dab, a little zigzag action. You got it, girl. Don't lay it on too thick. Remember, you're gonna have a chance to do a second coat. You don't have to let the nail fully dry before you do a second spongy coat, but don't let it be super wet either, somewhere in the middle. Like by the time you finish your other four nails, then you're good to go for your second round. Or actually, by the time you finish your eight nails, if you're a normal person and you paint both hands the same, peel off simply peel like no big deal. Someone requested that I actually narrate that for some reason. You guys are so weird. Don't worry, Simply Peel, we're not finished with you. Apply Simply Peel around all of your black nails because we're gonna do a gradient on top of the black. Gradients, gradients, gradients all day, every day. I love gradients and I hate water marbling. So as you let Simply Peel dry for a couple minutes, go ahead and add a quick dry top coat to your accent nail. You're probably like, oh my god, so many steps, I can't keep track. What nail am I painting? What am I doing? Am I putting like this sticky stuff on or am I putting a top coat or colors or sponges? I don't even know anymore. Let the quick dry top go. Dry for 15 to 20 minutes because now we're going to stick on some nail vinyls. Finally, it has happened to me. I got vinyls from Twinkle Tea. Yeah, yeah. These awesome intersecting diamond extravaganza pattern nail vinyls are from TwinkleTea.com and you can use my code SIMPLY for 10% off all the vinyls. So just peel it off the sheet. Ooh, look, it's so funky. Place it directly on the nail. And then to make the peeling off process when you're done a little bit easier, I like to cut a little slice on each side of the vinyl. Make sure you've got it firmly pressed in on the nail. Ooh, holla sneak peek! And I'm just taking my black polish and I'm applying a somewhat generous coat over top of the nail vinyls and make sure you cover every single little diamond. You gotta get all the little spaces. While the polish is still wet, peel up the vinyl with a pair of tweezers and you can see I just kind of pulled it from each end a little bit and then peeled it off. Cutting it before definitely helps with that. All right, back to the middle nail. So we're gonna do a gradient on the nail vinyl this time just to change things up and make it more complicated. 
But question, should you use the same sponge you just used like 27 minutes ago? No, because you shouldn't use the part of the sponge that has the dirty dried up polish. And yes, because you can actually use the same sponge, just cut off that dirty dry part. This way you will preserve sponges so you can do gradients for literally the rest of your life. Oh, and this is probably good for the environment or something to not waste sponges? I don't know, I'm not really a tree hugger. Now normally I wouldn't recommend using a light color to sponge or apply over a dark color like I've done here with this aqua or black, but in this case the picture polish shellax formula is super opaque, so it did really well. Good job picture polish. Peel off the nail vinyl and some of the Simply Peel. And oh my god, it's happening again, a nail artist's worst nightmare when you go to peel off something and it tries to peel off the base because you used a peel off base coat. Don't worry guys, this is not the fault of the nail vinyl. It's my fault for using a peel off base coat because I'm just like, you know, super lazy and I want to be able to peel my manicures off when I'm done with them. But don't worry, random nail tool to the rescue. I had to save it cause let's be honest, there's no way I was gonna redo this so it would have taken me like another two hours. When you're done, don't forget to have a fresh sponge for next time. Cut the sponge. Cut the sponge. Cut the sponge. Keep cutting the sponge. Cut all the sponges. Make sure you're using super sharp scissors cause if you use dull crappy scissors like these, it won't cut and this will happen. Clearly these scissors are evil and cursed cause look there's rust and bloody hollow glitter. Look at my sponge slice collection. I like to arrange them in opposite ways. Okay, and now we're done, or so you think. Add a top coat to seal it all in. And there I have the world's snazziest turtle on my nails. Ooh, hollow. Oh yeah, distracted by the hollow. I can't help it. I just got it in the mail a few days ago and it was super fast. It only took like three days of shipping. This is fun lacquer diamond top coat. Like legit a diamond in a bottle. Actually no, scratch that. Better than diamond, it's hollow. Hollow means holographic for all you people out there who do live under a rock. Oh my god, look at this. So basically a hollow top coat means that you can top it over anything and make it hollow. Okay, I know that this top coat is expensive, okay, but I sacrificed like three or four, maybe five Starbucks lattes to get it, so therefore it's worth it, because hollow is worth everything to me. But I've tried much cheaper alternatives, like this random $10 one I got from some indie company, and I mean it looks hollow in the bottle, and there's a bow on it, and some strange rhinestone. And on the brush it looks hollow too, but let's test them out beside each other. So this is Fun Lacquer Hollow Diamond Top Coat. And this is random indie brand half the price hollow top coat. Clearly the fun one wins in terms of hollow payoff because you see that there's a lot more little holographic rainbow things going on. Now what about something like I Love Nail Polish's famous Mega? The thing is, is that while this polish is awesome and super hollow, it's not meant to be a top coat. It's just meant to go on its own and be opaque in two or three coats. In comparison, it's a lot thicker, which is great for when you want to use it alone by itself on your nails, but it's not good as a top coat, because if you use something like this as a top coat, it's going to cloud your entire mani or end the color or the design. There's one important thing you need to know though before you apply a hollow top coat. You have to apply it in the least number of strokes as possible, because if you apply two strokes over top of each other, it's already going to become two coats and then your mani is going to get cloudy. But how cool is this effect, am I right? This hollow top coat took this mani from plain boring turtle to super stylish sassy turtle because who doesn't love hollow? Hollow makes the world a better place. And if you don't like it, then well, haters gonna hate, hollow's gonna hollow. Menchie's gonna menchie. All right, well that's it for today, guys. Make sure to leave me a comment below and let me know if you're gonna put hollow on everything from now on because I totally am. Thanks for watching.